Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to install and play PlayStation Mobile games on your PS Vita. So this does work on every firmware, which is hackable. Um, obviously, this does not work on 3.69, but it works on 3.8 and 3.67 and it also works on 3.65 but there are actually a few things you will need to get this working you must have your dns server enabled so this spoofs your ps vita to version 3.69 if you do not have this enabled i'll leave a video to it in the description you guys can check it out and watch it it's only three minutes but you will need this enabled to get it to work you also must have PKGJ, as you can see, I've got mine right here. This is so you can get the PlayStation Mobile games. And you also must have an original PS Vita memory card. If you do not have somewhere to put the games, they must be on an original memory card. They don't work if they're stored on at the SD2 Vita. So if you guys have all of these things, the first thing you want to do is open up PKGJ. Just tap on it and then just tap on start. Now press on triangle, also you must have the latest version of this, scroll down to where it says show all PSN games and just press X on it. This is going to show all of the PlayStation Mobile games, you guys know how this works, you just press X on it and it will install. As you can see I've got Aqua Kitty, um, I've got Castle Invasion as well and I'm just going to get another one. Some of them are really small in size so I will be doing that seeing as I have to copy them across to my actual memory card. So let's get Ninja Insect, let's just press X on it. So once it has done, now you need to get as many games as you possibly want because doing this each time is actually really annoying. So if you just want to get one game, that's fine. But if there are multiple games that you want to get, I'd recommend just doing this as a one-time thing because it's really annoying to re-add them every time because you have to rebuild the database to get them on your live area. But once you've got your games, press the home button, close out of PKGJ. We won't need that again for this video. And what you guys want to do is just go over to Vita Shell, go ahead and just press start to open it. Then press select, connect your PS Vita to your PC and I will show you guys what to do next. Now guys, over on your computer, this is the firmware spoofing video I was talking about. Basically, you will need to enter this DNS server to get it to work. So I will leave a link to this video in the description and um, it's really quick. And once you have this, you will be able to follow this video. So next, you will need to go to the second link in the description. And this is the NO PlayStation Network DRM plugin. This is what we will need to get the PlayStation Mobile games working. So simply just click on the SKPRX file and that will begin downloading. It's a very small file, so it'll download in a second. And once it is finished downloading, you just want to head over to your downloads folder and just find the plugin in there. So what we're going to do is just drag and drop this on the root of our PS Vita. Now, while we have dragged the plugin across, we also need to find this. This is the PSM folder. Double click to go on it. And what we want to do is copy all of these games across to our PC. Now, the easiest thing to do is just to copy the whole folder. So we're going to find PSM, right click, copy. Now we need to go to our downloads folder on our PC. And we're just going to do right click and paste. We need to copy the games across to our PC because I will need to add them to my PS Vita's real memory card to get this thing to work. So just copy them across, it shouldn't take too long. Now once that is done, we need to go back onto Vita Shell because we need to swap it over to our actual memory card. So back on our PS Vita, very briefly, make sure you're still in Vita Shell and just press the start button, go down to where it says USB device, scroll along, and we are looking for memory card. Once you find memory card, press circle to go back, press select again, and now you can connect your PS Vita back up to your PC. Right guys, so back again, and this time we've got our actual memory card connected. So what we are going to do is just drag and drop this file across. Now I've already got a game, so I don't want to copy across this one again. So I'm just going to copy across these two. But you can just copy across all your games, drag the whole folder if you wish, and you just want the PSM folder just on the root of your real memory card so these games are very small in size so let's just give this a couple of seconds to copy across now once that is done we can now go back onto our ps vita and i will show you guys what to do next so now we are back off our computer again just press circle on this message and we actually want to find that plugin that we recently got so mine is in my uxo press x on it let's scroll all the way down and just look for it so here is mine no 
psmdrm.skprx. We're going to press triangle on it and go, go to copy and then press X. So what we are doing is we are looking for our TAI folder. Yours might be in your UXO. However, mine is inside my URO. So we're going to press X to go onto that. And we're going to go into the TAI folder. Now we're just going to press triangle and just do paste. So now it is successfully copied across. You want to scroll up to config.txt and press X. Go to where it says kernel and press right on the D-pad to enter a new line underneath. So this is what you want to enter in on the new line. Um, you can just type this in right now. It's uro.tai slash no psmdrm.skprx make sure you get that exactly right pause the video if you make any mistakes um, the plugin just won't work so now you want to tap the black arrow down here and then it will just be done so I'm just going to remove this line right now if you want to press circle it's going to say would you like to save your modifications press X for yes so now we can press circle to go all the way back and we have now set up the plugin and the games now because we just installed a new plugin, we're just going to reboot the device, so press start, go down to where it says reboot and just press on X. So now back on our PlayStation Vita, we're very quickly just going to run the HNCart update again because mine is not on 3.65 so it isn't permanent. So you can just, once it's loaded, you can just simply exit straight away. So now what we want to do, scroll up, press X on your system settings and go ahead and start it up. We now want to scroll all the way down and we're looking for system. Go onto this, scroll down and go onto PlayStation Mobile. Now you want to tap the three dots here and now tap on update. Mine should be on the latest version, there you go. If it isn't, give it a few seconds to update. Once it's on the latest version, tap on OK, press the back arrow and we're going to close out of the system settings. Now what we need to do is actually rebuild our PS Vita's database. So hold the power button, wait for the menu to come up and simply go to power off. Once your PS Vita is powered off, we will need to hold left, right and the home button and the power button at the same time. This can be a bit awkward, but just try and do it and you should be able to get into your PS Vita's recovery menu. So once you're in a recovery menu, just like this, you want to scroll down to Rebuild Database and press on X. Then go to Yes and press on X. Now this should not take too long, um, maybe just give it a couple of minutes and then I'll show you what to do when it's done. So your PS Vita should now power back on and everything is going to be refreshed. And now this is going to screw up your live area. As you can see, I did have all my icons in a really nice layout and it's just messed them up. But you can see all of the mobile games on here. Also, my theme is gone. Now you're probably wondering, where are all my other apps? Do not worry, I will show you how to get them back. Um, keep in mind, this is all the stuff that's on my memory card. So if these were on my SD to Vita, they would be lost. But what I'm going to do, just tap on the HNCore update and just tap on start. Just tap on yes. And we need to install the Hankaku again. So let's just open it, install Hankaku, success. And now just press X on exit. Now we need to open up Vita Shell and just start it up. In Vita Shell, we must press triangle and press X on where it says refresh live area. Now just press X again, and this shouldn't take too long, but it should refresh all of the apps which are on your SD to Vita. Once it is finished loading, it will say refreshed. Now there's probably going to be quite a few items refreshed, um, because these are actually all of your apps. So just press X on OK. Also keep in mind that your SD to Vita still will be set as your main storage. It won't mess any of that up. As you can see, my UXO is still my SD to Vita. And my UMA0 is still my actual memory card, um, which is in the system. So we're just going to close out of Vita Shell now. And we should see that all of our apps are successfully back. Um, it has sort of messed them all up. I'm going to have to sort my theme out again. That is why I said this is a one-time thing. Get the games you want and then probably never do this again because it's just really annoying to set up. But now we can run a game. Um, so let's choose the Castle Invasion. 
it might say please rate and it might get you to update the PlayStation Mobile app again. Um, if it does, just update it. I've actually done mine, so it shouldn't ask. So here you go. So they're really, really basic games. I mean, this really does look like a scratch game from like 2013. But you guys get the idea. There are a lot better games on here. There are several good games. Um, normally the decent games are quite high in size, like 600 megabytes and stuff. Um, this one was probably like 10 megabytes or something small like that. But this is how you get PlayStation Mobile games on your PS Vita. Um, I think one of the other ones I got, this is one I got earlier. I think this one was actually a bit better. So yeah, on 3.68, they must be on your actual memory card because you will need um, permanent um, custom firmware to run these. So if you're on 3.65, you can actually store these things on your SD to Vita. But that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. But yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.